The A7 binder is way easier to carry around with you just because it's way more compact. The A6 six string binder does have more of a variety. Okay, do I want the A7 six string binder? Or do I want the A6 six string binder? Hey kittens, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be comparing my A6 six string binder to my A7 six string binder so you guys can see which one may be the better binder journal for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. FYI, we're gonna be comparing five different things about both binders. So first we're gonna be looking at the size of the binders as well as the paper sizes for both binders. So for my A6 six string binder, this binder measures about five and three fourths inches in width and then eight Eight one fourth inches in height. And then for my A7 six string binder, this one measures about four and a half inches in width and five and a half inches in height. So as you guys can see, the A6 six string binder is slightly wider, but it's also visibly taller than the A7. So when it comes to the sizes of the paper for both of the six string binders, you guys can see that the A7 six string binder paper is much shorter, but also just slightly less wide as the A6 six string binder paper. And and then I also wanted to just note really quickly in terms of the ring placement, the A6 six string binder has more space in between the different rings as opposed to the A7 six string binder. So please keep that in mind when it comes to the different paper that you want to buy for either of the two binders. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is pricing for both binders. And just a quick disclaimer about this, the pricing is gonna vary for any six string binder just because you can either buy the binder by itself you can also buy it with refills if you want, or it can actually come as a kit. So just be mindful, pricing will vary depending on what you buy with the binder, unless it's just the binder in general. So for my A6 six string binder, I literally just bought the binder only, and that cost me about $10 to purchase. And then for my A7 six string binder, I bought that one off of Etsy, and that one cost me about $15, only because it was a kit. So it included binder refills, stickers, and different papers that I can use as well as a ruler and a zipper pouch. So I just wanted to give you guys just an idea on the pricing that I paid for my six string binders and they will also both be linked below. So and next I wanted to cover the paper options and just a quick little hint hint kittens, the A6 six string binder does have more of a variety when it comes to this category. However, the A7 six string binder also has different styles of paper that you can purchase. So if you guys look at different websites such as Duru Naru, this one is on Etsy and they have so many different things, y'all. I mean, these different refill sheets got some cute little pictures. These things come in cute little different colors, y'all. So yes, keep that in mind as well. And then another website is AliExpress, which has really a great option of a lot of different things when it comes to both six string binders. However, in terms of just the paper, AliExpress does have a nice variety of both of the papers for the A6 six string binder, as well as the A7 six string binder. So next, I wanted to cover the functionality for the six string binders. And I will mention here that this part really depends on what you want to use your six string binder for. So maybe you wanna just use your six string binder for something such as journaling in general. Maybe you actually want to film a journaling with me's. I know that I have a few that I use my six string binders for, or maybe you just wanna do some planning in general. So keep that in mind when it comes to the functionality piece. However, I will also mention that the A seven six string binder if you're really looking for a portable six string binder the a7 binder is way easier to carry around with you just because it's way more compact than the a6 six string binder so even if you don't do a lot of journaling just keep in mind since the a7 six string binder is smaller than the a6 it is going to literally cut your time basically in half kittens. So if you're looking for something that's easy to carry and that it's really quick for you to actually decorate a spread or fill out a journaling page really quickly, then the A7 binder may be right for you. So I also wanted to mention that you may even use less stationary items because the A7 six string binder is smaller. However, again, that depends on your style. Maybe you don't use stationary with it at all. Maybe you just wanna write. However, if you do plan on using 
using different things such as washi tape, such as different stickers that you may have, or even just doing different art type of things in your six ring binder. You just wanna keep in mind that the A7 binder is a little more compact so it may not take you as long to fill out a spread. So the next thing I wanted to share with you guys is the styles between both of these six ring binders. So if you haven't seen my previous video where I compared my A5 six ring binder to my A6 six ring binder, you may not have known that the A5 six ring binder doesn't have as many style options as the A6 six ring binder. However, when it comes to the A7 versus the A6, they actually have a good amount between the two in terms of different styling options. So I've seen on different websites that either A6 six ring binder or A7 six ring binders, they do have some that have pockets on the cover, they have some that have glitter on the covers, some of them also come in a zipper form like my A6 six ring binder for both options. So try to keep that in mind that if you're kind of battling between, okay, do I want the A7 six ring binder or do I want the A6 six ring binder? What if the A7 doesn't have the style that I want or vice versa? Keep in mind that there are a variety of options between the two for you guys. So when it comes down to it, kittens, it really just depends on what your own needs are for your six ring binder. So please do your research, okay? Check out the websites I mentioned. You may even find other websites. Check out their reviews. If they have pictures of what they've sold other people, try to look at those and compare it and see which one may really be best for you. So I hope that this video was super helpful to you guys. Again, I have a six ring binder playlist that you guys can check out. And it also includes the video of where I compare my A5 six ring binder to my A6 six six ring binder so i hope this video was super helpful to you guys be sure to comment below what six ring binder you prefer and i will see you guys next week thank you so much kittens i love you all adios